Hey everybody, this is Charles Calhoun, AKA The Shade Tree Pro. Um, today, I'm gonna do a video on hitting knockdown wedges. And uh, it's, it's pretty simple once you get it. Um, one of the most important things that I'm gonna tell you about uh, something that I, I write, and it's called the law of the golf swing. And what is the law of the golf swing? Well, every single one of you out there who's playing golf, who want to play golf, who struggle in golf, let me, let me tell you, sometimes you have to go back to the basics. Kind of like the video I did about Justin Thomas, about, look, dude, if you're trying to get, get that swing to feel back right, go back to natural hinges, up and down, up and down, and get that set up. But one of the most important things that you have to understand in the law of the golf swing is this simple principle. The club goes up in the air and it has to come back down. None of us can get away from that. None of us can, can remanufacture that. No matter what you do, you have to get that club up. You have to bring it down. Now, some of my uh, guys, uh, Sean and Michael, y'all may know them from um, uh, athletic uh, motion golf. You know, um, they put a video up and they was talking about the forward leaning shaft is a very very interesting video and I'll put it in the I'll put the uh, the link inside the description because I definitely want you to check that out because it goes right into my philosophy when I'm talking about top down and one of the points in there I think it's Michael who says it is that you know the this the upper body this part works independently and Sean talks about something that's very very important where he said, you know, really good tour players, and I have y'all known, watch my videos, you've seen me talk about it, you've seen me talk about going from the outside of the foot to the inside of the foot, because in a true athletic motion, we're trying to stay behind the strike. The only foot, if you look here, in essence, if you look here, the only foot that's actually behind the strike is your trail foot, it's behind the strike. You all heard, see, saw me do the videos when I talked about and assessed that I'm trying to stay behind the ball. And, you know, and, and a good player, once he sets up to the ball, you know, he, he knows, he's got that feeling. He knows he's going to hit it well, in a sense. And one of the easiest shots that I think is hitting is a knockdown wedge. And I think one of the biggest problems with a knockdown wedge is that we get way over here to the left side too much, trying to clear the left side and that's just, but we don't use that one principle that Sean and Michael talked about that I've been saying for years, is that you, you, you stay behind the ball by striking with your trail side. You absolutely strike with your trail side. And one of the easiest ways to hit a knockdown shot is simply this, is that when you get the club up you know, with a wedge, all you're doing is transferring from the outside foot to the inside of the foot, and then you back behind the ball, and it keeps you there. Now, I also said in one of my videos that I don't like to see the hands go forward, you know, that the, all this forward-leaning shaft, this is already designed in a sense. I always say that the hands are behind the strike because when I strike that ball, that club is going to come back. Now, that's something interesting that both Michael and Sean talk about as well, and they give you a great understanding of that. See, and, and one of my things, too, is that, you know, we've been speaking about Sean and Michael and, and athletic motion golf, is that, look, I don't have all the equipment there. That's why I'm the Shade Tree Pro. I just tell you, I, I can tell you what I feel, and then I take that feel to my understanding, to what I know it to be, and there is no question about my top down. That one I just won't get away from, because no matter what you're doing, the swing is being swung with the with the with the hands holding on to the arms, which is at the top of the body. So no matter what you're feeling, you got to swing the golf club. So, you know. So I, like I said, I'll put that description, and I mean put that link in the description so you can check out that video because it's spot on to exactly you know giving the ideas of what I'm talking about. Other than the fact is, I this forward leaning shaft. The way I look at it, I never get my hands past the ball. So hit that knockdown wedge. All I'm doing is I'm just setting up. I got the ball. I can put, I can knock it down being in the middle of my stance. I can knock it down in the back of my stance. I can knock it down in the front of my stance because I'm not getting to my left side that's making me come around. So I can sit here right now and put it in the back of my stance 
and I can just make that shift from never getting just you're gonna feel your pressure up here but I'm not forcefully trying to get over here all I'm really doing is just feel it into my foot and just feeling it just like that and see and that's more of a that's like I said that's a steep angle that I get but that steep angle is because it allows me to pull that club because I'm pulling that club back so in one of my Many videos you see, I talk about, you know, that the golf swing is nothing more than a controlled scoop. And, and all I'm doing is just basically making a little controlled scoop to pop that ball. And that's it. And I'm just holding it. You know, it's kind of like, and the, and the essence that I'm talking about when hitting a knockdown shot, I mean, I'm not doing anything special. I haven't changed anything so far in my swing club still goes up the club still goes down I got a beautiful way of doing it but simply it's just more or less there I can open this up if I want to I can set it back here if I want to I can put my foot back if I want to because I haven't changed the principle that the outside of the foot is where I'm giving you feeling that weight and then I come shift to the inside because I'm shifting from uh, right to left but I'm just not going to the left side I'm trying to stay behind the strike and I just sit there, and it's just pretty simple to do. And I can hold that off any way that I want. Like I told you, you haven't taken my foot away from me, so I can put my foot back because you see people leaning over, you know, like walls or something, you know, and, and on the tour or something with their foot back on, on bunkers and stuff because you haven't taken that foot away from me. And I can still hit that shot. And no different than anyone else that's sitting here and this foot is forward and they have to hit it you haven't taken this foot away from me so I can still shift I can still stay behind the ball and I can still make that knockdown strike and no different than when I said that I can put the ball in the front of my stance and still hit that knockdown shot to some degree I don't mind putting it in my front of my stance because I know that the shift is on from this side to that side. I can already preset that. I, this is doing nothing but holding on. And what that does, it makes my angle a little bit steeper, even with it in front. And I can still pop it and knock it down. And that may be a situation where you might be on a downhill lie or something like that. Because a lot of times on a downhill lie, I'll actually put the ball up in front of me because I know that, because I'm like I said, this is just bracing me. The action is still there. I still, even, I can still feel outside the inside of that foot and I can sit here and I can just pop it. And it doesn't matter. So the point is I'm saying, even hitting knockdown wedges, you know, you're gonna learn different things of you hold. Like I've got even one where I can sit here and I can hit a little pup, knock down and I roll the shaft and I hold it under and I can hold it under a little bit more. It's kind of like to me, if you took a bucket of sand and just kind of like threw the sand right here, because if you were trying to, you know, throw the bucket of sand on the pile, you wouldn't go like that to do it. You just kind of throw it out there like that. And so that's the same thing that I'm feeling. I just feel like, I'm just throwing the bucket of sand. And it's it's really, really a simple move. And then, and because it's such a simple move, you know, and and, and, I, and it really is. I mean, you can do it, you know. There are some definitely some things that I know that's in my top-down philosophy, but they are simple. Because the only thing that I'm truly thinking of, and I even teach my tour player, is that, you know, regardless of what, the laws of the golf swing is simple. The club comes up in the air, the club comes back down. So no matter what I'm doing, dead finger grip, locks everything in, I bring it up, boom, and let it go. And see, and I can just hit just all kinds of little shots. Now y'all can see, I can take um, one of my favorite shots I like to do when it's into the, well, definitely when it's into the wind. One of my other favorite shots, now y'all saw my uh, uh, video when I talked about turning the club face into a rudder. I actually can take the toe of the club and I'll get closer to it on a knockdown shot, even with the wedge. I'll get closer to it and I'll just punch it. Now I like hitting that when I'm in really, really tall grass 
I wish I'd have known this on the big break. I wouldn't have got eliminated so early. But I just picked that heel up a little bit and just like same rotation, I mean, excuse me, the same uh, shifting of the foot and just go ahead and strike it. And I try to make it as simple as I possibly can. So just, you know, here it goes again. So that's a beautiful, beautiful knockdown. Hey, get that a try. And like I said, don't forget that I will put that uh, link in there for my boy Sean and, and Michael at um, uh, Athletic Motion Golf. I mean, it's a very, very good video. Hey, this is Charles Calhoun, AK The Shade Tree Pro, and always good golfing.